outside and knocking. 200 miles. 300 miles. For, so finally Burton says, you are driving me cuckoo, playing that those three notes over and over and over. I said, I'm trying to write a song for Rocco. And he said, do you have any ideas besides that crazy beginning? And I said, well, Roy Orbison has a song called Crying, so why don't we call this one Laughing? Down the street, and I'm walking to our car. There's three guys coming towards me down the street. 
cut off leather jackets, bulging muscles, tattoos, they look like ex-war vets. One's black, one's Mexican, one's white, they give me that glare like, you know like they do in the movies when they're going to have a gunfight? <laughs> that glare, and the, the saloon glare I call it. And I'm wearing a little badge the mayor of Winnipeg has given us when we leave home. That's a red maple leaf. He says, so wear this wherever you go so people around the world will know you're peace-loving Canadians. <laughs> and he says, by the way, don't get into a fight with an American. They're drafted at 18, this is like the Vietnam War era. They're drafted at 18, taught hand-to-hand -hand combat. Unless you got on hockey skates on ice with a stick, you'll have no chance in a fight. So don't get in a bar fight with these guys. So I'm, these guys are walking towards me, giving me the glare, and I figure, oh no, I can't get in a fight, I can't run away, I'm just going to put these in the car and try to leave. And before I get to my car, a little brown car pulls up, and they hear it coming because the muffler's dragging and it roars like a Harley Davidson. That's a little tiny car. And they hear this car, and two of these guys look at each other and leave. This little car pulls up, a little five foot tall woman gets up and starts yelling at the guy who's left standing there. He's no longer Mr. Macho. He's looking at me, he shrugs, she goes up to him in his face and goes, you no good bum. I know you're here with your buddies checking out all the chicks at the University of Telegraph Avenue. You're supposed to be out looking for a job and I don't mean reading the want ads. You left me home with the kids. You didn't take out the garbage when you left. Get in the car. The guy shrugs, gets, she slams the door and she says, furthermore, when you get home, you ain't getting no sugar tonight. Girl, I'm 